This weekend, why not grab a jab? That's the message from the NHS as it throws open the doors of hundreds of walk-in vaccination centres across England. And it's not just for young people after their first dose. Second doses are on offer for over 40s first jabbed eight weeks ago and under 40s where the gap is 12 weeks. And here's the vaccine rollout's impact. Among under 50s admitted to hospital, 902 had the Delta variant now driving new infections. 77% of them unvaccinated, 3% fully vaccinated. In previous waves, COVID hit older people much harder, but just 418 over 50s have gone to hospital in this wave, 33% unvaccinated, 39% fully vaccinated. As you get older, it may be that not everybody's immune system responds as we would wish to a vaccine. And as we get more people in the population vaccinated, you will actually see that those who end up in hospital uh, and with COVID-19 will have been vaccinated, but there will be far fewer of them. Remember when fans returned to Wembley last month for the FA Cup final as part of an experiment? Nine events were monitored and the results are now in, showing with proper measures in place, attending is no more risky than anything else. But of course, that risk in the community is now on the rise. Public health teams are very busy putting out fires at the moment, and they are important for putting that outbreak prevention and control safety net around events. So the major events, uh, it will be safer to run those when we're on the other side of the Delta wave. The experiment continues when 60,000 watch the Euros semis and final at Wembley. Currently, one person in every 440 has COVID in England, meaning that will be a much tougher test of whether such events are possible. Catherine Jones, 5 News.